Hi, my name is Latoya Grace Burke, and I'm happy to be joining you to talk about my digital story map titled Plan Destruction. I will provide an example of the power of maps through a brief history lesson about urban planning in the city of Richmond, Virginia. I will begin with the person who catalyzed this journey for me, my cousin Marcus Massenberg, or Little Marcus, as my family used to call him. These are pictures of when he was younger and a brat, but he was so cute. Sadly, my cousin died in Wickham Court in 2018, about a month before his 31st birthday. Wickham Court is one of several housing projects in the east end of Richmond. It is an area with the most concentrated pockets of poverty in the city today. Residents living in this part of the city have a life expectancy that is cut in half compared to residents living, ironically, just a few blocks away. My cousin would often joke with his friends that he was mock mock from the block block. But sadly, Marcus had no idea of how those blocks were created and that the design of those blocks were intended to deprive him and others in his community of opportunities available in other parts of the city. These blocks were designed to be contained and isolated, and these same blocks would cost When my cousin passed away, I was beginning my work on Richmond 300, which is a planning subcommittee that has been working on the city of Richmond's comprehensive, comprehensive plan for the year 2020. Before this experience, I did not know anything about urban planning and its impact. It was also during this time that I learned more about Harlan Bartholomew. Bartholomew was an urban planner who practiced during the early 1900s and 1960s. His firm, Harland and Bartholomew, or rather Bartholomew and Associates, completed 554 comprehensive plans for cities across the United States, which included Los Angeles, St. Louis, Missouri, Louisville, Kentucky, and Washington, D. to name a few locations. According to the racist history of zoning laws by Michael H. Wilson, Bartholomew denigrated African Americans and suggested that the races be separated to protect neighborhood property values. Bartholomew's urban planning maps laid the foundation for urban renewal in the United States. This process was also known as Negro removal by those who were displaced from their communities during this period. To carry out his work in Richmond, Bartholomew and Associates created a series of maps to reflect the existing conditions of the city's population as well as other patterns. This map to the left is, shows the density in the city of Richmond around, I think it's the late 1930s, early 1940s. The map on the right shows the location of African Americans within the city. As you can see, they live predominantly in the downtown Richmond area, in the East End, and also in parts of the South. If you were to look at a map of demographics in the city of Richmond today, you would essentially find the same pattern. I've been saying a while now to people as I talk about our master plan that we are essentially still living in a 1930s framework. Bartholomew and Associates also use maps to display the condition of property as well as property ownership in the downtown Richmond area. The map on the left represents the type of property ownership in downtown Richmond during the 1940s. It is hard to see the legend, but the lighter buildings represent the number of buildings or the number of properties that were privately owned in the downtown area. Almost all of this property today is owned either by the city of Richmond or the state of Virginia. The map to the right is one that shows an assessment of value of properties in the downtown Richmond area, also in the 1940s. 
Again, the legend is hard to see, but if you pay attention to the main strip, which is Broad Street in downtown Richmond, the properties that are north of Broad Street, which were occupied by predominantly African Americans, were assessed at much lower rates compared to the properties just a block below were occupied by white people. Bartholomew's planning map, in conjunction with the HOLC redlining map, I'm sure a lot of you know about due to the awesome work at the University of Richmond's Digital Scholarship Lab, um, but those maps um, would essentially establish the foundation for the properties and spaces that African Americans own and occupied um, being devalued and then determined to be eligible for slum clearance. So um, many of the properties that you see in red, of course, were where African Americans lived, and they were being blighted by um, Harlan Bartholomew. Though people were living there, and people had thriving neighborhoods, but um, because of their presence, um, the space was deemed not valuable, and therefore eligible for being used for construction of an expressway. So this is an example of neighborhoods that were cleared out to make way for the downtown expressway in the downtown Richmond area. Um, hundreds of families were displaced and the damage lasted and has lasted and is still um, to be felt in generations today. Knowing that history, and particularly after the death of cousin made me very sad, but also determined to want to document and to do something to honor the people who had so much taken away from them. This is a map that I've started, and it's just a screenshot, so it's not super comprehensive. Um, you can explore the map in my digital story map, but it maps 1,500 people and places that existed in the downtown area before urban renewal. renewal. Um, it is my hope to essentially put people who were wiped off of the map back onto the map. With that said, through this journey, I've learned a lot about the power of maps. They can elevate a space and they can destroy a space as well as the people within that space. That is what Harlan Bartholomew did. As photographers, we can learn history, learn about maps that um, denigrated people, and do our best to undo that devastation. So we can take back that power and use it for good. It is what I hope to do, and I hope that you will too. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions or comments, I'm happy to hear them. Thank you again. Latoya for sharing that um, amazing map and personal history and story with us. We really appreciate that. Um, Lots of love on the Slack channel for that. Um, people are saying how we often see cities as they are today, but we forget the terrible policies that made them this way. Um, and I just had a question for you. Um, are there, is there work or data that you're um, wanting to add to your map right now? Yeah, so I guess I'm finding that there are so many untold stories that have yet to be um, to be narrated or told. So I think I would like to continue this project and focus on other neighborhoods that were impacted by urban renewal. Um, the next neighborhood I'm focusing on is the near West End, which is where my dad and grandparents lived. And it was destroyed. Um, like there's an expressway going through that neighborhood right now. So it's um, like near the Carillon, Maymont Park area. Area of Richmond. So I would love to open this up to the public and let people who have memories of those spaces um, just input um, like memories or pictures that they have of those areas. So there's a lot of work to be done and I just appreciate at least getting the word out about my work. Yeah, and I think you'll find there's lots of like-minded people here at NASIS who have done similar things in their um, cities and uh, it'd be great to you all collaborate. So. Thank you again so much for your presentation.